Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. Now in this brief tutorial, I'm going to share how you can seamlessly connect your Google Contacts with Google Sheets using two completely free methods. That way you can better manage your Google Contacts and automate the processes between Google Contacts and Google Sheets. Okay, so just quickly before you go ahead and launch into Google Sheets, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and connect your Google Contacts with Google Sheets. Okay, so diving into Google Sheets and for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'll be using my product called Sheetify CRM, which is a CRM that I built with Google Sheets. However, you can use any Google Sheets for this tutorial. The reason I'm using my Sheetify CRM, which is a Google Sheets template, is because I want to be able to automatically send contacts from my Google Contacts into my Sheetify CRM into this Google Sheet. That way I can manage all my contacts, leads and customers directly inside this Google Sheet. Now, the first method is by using a Google Workspace add-on and the second method is by automating the process of adding new contacts from Google Contacts into your Sheetify CRM with Zapier. Okay, so the first method to bulk upload and sync your contacts from Google Contacts is by navigating over to the right hand side and click on Get Add-ons, then navigate up to the top and type in Google Contacts, then hit Enter. And today we're going to use this add-on over here. Simply go ahead, click on the add-on and then click on install. And once you've given the app access, simply come down and click on done and then close the Google Workspace Marketplace. As you can see, import contacts was installed successfully. Simply go ahead and click on import. Then for the purpose of today's tutorial, you can see that in this account, I have two contacts. If I click here, and if I manage my contacts inside Google Contacts with labels, I can choose the specific label. For example, I'm going to click on leads. I have two contacts within the label leads and I can choose the data that I want to import. So for me, I want to import first name, last name, email, as well as company, address and phone number. Then simply go ahead and click on import and this import contacts add on will create a new sheet. Then all you need to do is rearrange these items so that it matches the contacts and leads. Okay, so I'm going to navigate back over to Google Contacts and then move company and place that next to last name. And I'm happy with email address and phone. I'm going to make this column a bit larger and this one here. And I'm happy with that. Now, unfortunately, there is not a full name option. So I'm going to leave the format like this and then simply highlight these details, then right click and then select copy and then head over to contacts and leads and then simply right click down here under full name and then click on paste special and then click on values only. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and close this and you can see my contacts have been seamlessly added. Now, you might need to make some manual changes here by adding the full name and removing the last name here. Now, the only reason that we have first name here is so that you can engage in email marketing and this allows you to personalize the email with just the first name. Again, just navigate over to the right hand side, click on import contacts, choose the data that you want to import and then select if you want to import all contacts or just specific labels that you've created inside Google Contacts. And you can also remove this plugin at any time by simply navigating up here and then clicking manage add-on. Then simply click on uninstall to uninstall this app. Okay, so let's close out of this. Next, what we wanna do is talk about Zapier and how you can simply automate the process of adding new contacts inside Google Contacts directly inside your Google Sheet. This is by setting up an automation called a Zap between Zapier, Google Sheet, and Google Contacts. So every time you add a new contact inside of Google Contacts, that contact will be automatically added inside your Google Sheet. Now to do that, what you can do is create a new sheet if you like. I'm going to use this sheet for the purpose of today's tutorial. Simply delete the data and I'm going to change this to full name and change this to first name. And I'm happy with those details. However, you can add more columns if you like. Then what we want to do is simply head over to Zapier and you can use Zapier completely for free to create the automation between Google Contacts and your Google Sheet. Okay, so once you've created an account completely for free, simply navigate up to create. Then come down and click on Zaps. 
Then navigate down to Trigger, click here, and then locate Google Contacts. Here we want to choose an event, and I'm going to come down and click on New Contact, Triggers when a contact is created. Then simply click on Continue. First we need to sign in, and once you've successfully signed in, come down and click on Continue. Here we need to test trigger, and as you can see, it's working correctly, so navigate down and click on Continue with Selected Record. And just like that, the test has been successful. You can choose a test contact. I'm gonna go ahead and use contact B and simply come down and click on continue with selected record. This is the test record that Zapier will use for this automation. Now what we wanna do is navigate over to Google Sheets. Here we want to choose an event. And what we wanna do is navigate down the bottom and click on create spreadsheet row. Create a new row in a specific spreadsheet. And again, we want to continue. Then again, take the time to sign in to your Google Sheets and make sure you're using the correct Google account. Then again, go ahead, click on continue, choose your Google Drive. I'm gonna select my drive, then choose the spreadsheet. Here's my Sheetify CRM that I want to connect. Then choose the worksheet. And we're gonna use this Google Contacts. And that's what we named that sheet earlier. And you can see we have these elements that we need to fill out. We've got full name, first name, company, email, address, and phone. These are the different fields that we created earlier within this spreadsheet. Come down to full name, and remember Zapier is going to pull in the first contact to help you link the correct fields. So for full name, what we're gonna do is click on name first, which is Sam, click here. And because it's a full name, we also want to add the last name. So make sure that you have a space here, then come down and click on last name, and then click on close. Then come down to first name. Again, we're going to scroll down and simply use the first name again, and then click on close. Then we have company. What we wanna do is link company. So as you can see, we have the company label here and the data from an example contact that we added earlier. Then close this, come down to email and locate the email field. Here's email undefined. I'm also going to add email work. So Zapier is going to pull in data from the emails undefined as well as emails work. If there's no data, then no data will be pulled. Go ahead, close this, then navigate down to address. Here we're going to add the address and you can add any information that you want to collect. Do you wanna pull in the address home city as well as the address home street address, postcode? What do you want to pull in? I'm going to click this option here. However, you can select any option that you wanna pull in. Maybe you just wanna pull in the postal code or maybe you want the home address and city and postcode. You can select all those options. Okay, so I'm going to close this and then navigate down the page to phone. Here, we just need to locate phone. I'm going to come down and click on phone numbers work and then phone numbers undefined here. So this is the data that I want to pull in. And you can come back and test this and change this at any time, depending on the information that you wanna collect inside your Sheetify CRM. As you can see, I've filled all those fields, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to come down and click on continue. Then navigate down and click on test step. And as you can see, a spreadsheet row was sent to Google Sheets about 25 seconds ago. Then come down and click on publish. And just like that, you've created your zap. Let's go ahead and click out of here. And that's all we need to do inside Zapier for now. Let's head back to our Sheetify CRM. And you can see that this data has been pulled. Now what I can do is simply copy this head over to contacts and leads, and then paste this in with paste special character values only. And that's gonna add that data into my CRM, into my contacts and leads. So it's best to send your data to a separate sheet. That way you can choose the contacts, leads, or customers that you wanna add inside your CRM. Now let's go ahead and test this out again by heading over to Google Contacts. And I'm gonna navigate up to create contact and create a contact. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly fill out these details. Okay, so I've quickly filled out some test information for this new contact. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Okay, so I've quickly gone ahead and added a new contact and saved that contact. Now, because we created a Zap inside Zapier, we now have an automation in place, meaning that when we create a new contact, that contact is going to be automatically sent to our Sheetify CRM. So let's go ahead and have a look. Now it can take a few minutes for that automation to work and to see that new contact added to your Sheetify CRM. However, those are two methods that you can use for adding Google contacts to your Sheetify CRM. 
And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Google Sheets and Google Contacts tutorial. Now if you have any questions about connecting the two together or about our Sheetify CRM, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.